It's... What freaking day is it? It is Wednesday, the 21st of November, 2018. Oh. It's Wednesday. Oh, man. I don't know. These night shifts, guys, they just... Hey, it's Fake Friday! Sweet! Now I realize what day it is. But anyway, I'm gonna let the dog out. We're gonna go stand outside and have a vape with him. And, uh, welcome to my vlog. Alright, I should probably tarps on. And then get the dog. And we'll head outside. See what the weather's like. Tomorrow is garbage day, right? Monday wasn't a holiday. No. I know tomorrow's a holiday for the Merca. Huh? You guys got your Thanksgiving, so of course this is coming out too late. Damn it. Well, I guess I can say happy belated turkey and, you know, my intentions were there. Happy belated turkey and gravy day, guys. Like, have a good Thanksgiving and hopefully you don't get too bad of indigestion because, well, that kind of sucks. Yeah, this will not be a shovel day, people. Definitely not. Look at it out here. Of course the wind's gonna mess with the audio, but like, we got a lot of snow last night. You know damn well the blower's getting used. Ooh, this guy running track. <laughs> He's just nuts. Now he's gonna pee. But yeah, definitely not gonna be a uh, shovel day. It's cold out. It's like minus 17 right now. Screw that nonsense. All right, let's go back inside. It's too freaking cold out for this. The whole time Oreo was outside there, he started doing the lizard thing. You ever see a lizard on the uh, hot desert sand? You know, like, when it's not moving, when it's running, it's fine because it's not always making contact with the, the hot sand. That's when it stops and it starts randomly lifting a leg here and a leg there and a leg here and a leg there to uh, avoid burning its feet. Oreo was doing the exact same thing outside on the cold snow so that he wouldn't get frostbite on his feet and it was kind of adorable except while he was pooping and he tried to lift his back leg and he fell into his poop hey what are you gonna do right can't win them all so i'm gonna make a bulletproof coffee because that's what i want oh i think it's official boys winter officially sucks but the forecast for today is bang on i have to admit I was getting that cab ride home today. The cabbie's like, yeah, going down to minus 17 tonight. And I'm like, yeah, minus 17, but it's supposed to be clear. And he goes, oh, I'll believe that when I see it. He saw outside. It's sunnier than frig out there right now. It's sunny as sunny can be. All right, pulse, pulse. Oh man, coffee everywhere. You know, I really wish that this blender wasn't some hipster smoothie maker. Cause it's the perfect size of blender. This doesn't have to be a hipster smoothie maker. Then again, some people do call my Bulletproof coffees hipster coffees. I just think it's a great way to get some calories in the morning on the fat variety that keeps you from eating junk food all day. Sue me. Way better than a frapple lap of mochaccino. But hey, who am I to judge? Anyway, time to see what's going on on the internets. Drink a coffee, then go from there. I want another coffee. This one I'm not gonna Bulletproof. I'm also gonna make myself one of my Apple cider lemon waters. These are actually really good for fat burn because lemon promotes fat burn. Apple cider vinegar promotes fat burn. And I'm in the business for burning fat. Gonna have to go out and buy some more Crespa Crime. All right, so normally what I do for this water is first gotta take the lid off the jug. Next, add some ice cubes to it because nothing tastes better than super awesome cold water. Fact. Then I'm gonna put two tablespoons of lemon into the jug. One, two. Then I've been using this stuff here, apple cider vinegar. It doesn't have the mother in it, but it's been proven with or without the mother, no big difference. This stuff here has a potent stink to it. I put two tablespoons of this into it as well. One, okay. There's a little bit more than two tablespoons of that. Now this is gonna make for a very bitter, very interesting water, guys. But the fat burn capabilities are amazing. Next up, we just add some water to it. I usually shake it around while the water's going in. Now, it will get a lot of suds on top, as you can sort of tell. And that's just because 
of the lemon. Now you can also add a bit of salt to this if you want to salten it up to get more electrolytes in your system. You know, keto. It's not exactly an electrolyte heavy uh, diet. So hence why a lot of people slip into the keto. Well, why I slipped into the keto flu and held on to it for so long is because I was running out of electrolytes. Now my friend Heather makes this uh, cider water, uh, apple cider lemon water. What she does is she goes one step further. She bought at Walmart a pack of mason jars and like a 12 pack and she'll mix up 12 of them and throw them in the fridge so they're ready to go. Instead of using the lemon juice that I used, she'll actually buy like a bag of lemons, chop them up and throw them in the water so that they're in there getting infused. Um, the apple cider vinegar, she just adds that right away. You know, puts the lid on the jar, shakes it up, fires them in the fridge and then she has one of those a day, sips on it all day and she swears by it. She's like, it's her favorite. Because apple cider vinegar will get rid of your hunger. So if you're doing a fast like I am, apple cider vinegar will get rid of that, that hunger. Apple cider vinegar will also uh, promote fat burn. And lemon juice does the same thing. So all in all, those two combined, it's like super ultra awesome NOS for burning fat. Good combo. All right, I'm gonna go drink my coffee, drink my fat burning water, see if anybody uploaded anything to screw tubes, and I'll be right back. Well guys, it's getting close to that time where I gotta go outside and blast the driveway or otherwise I won't be driving my truck to work again. This time not because of nowhere to park. This time because not being able to get it out of the driveway. Ha, who am I kidding? Put that thing in 4x4 four four and she'll climb over a mountain. First I gotta rock poop. Yeah. You know, I said this before when I did the five day fat fast, which is pretty much what I'm doing now is another fat fast uh, where you just have a bulletproof coffee in the morning. And then that's it. You don't eat food all day. Just drink water, green tea, whatever the case may be. And then wait till the next morning and have another bulletproof coffee. But it's amazing the stuff that comes out of you when you go to the washroom. Because my goodness, dude, I'm definitely losing stuff. That's probably been in there since I was a kid. Good times. Anyway, let's go blast that driveway. I'm probably going to shovel right here just to, uh, clear out as much as possible. Oh, I love LED lights. The colder it is, the brighter they shine, unlike CCFLs. So I'm probably gonna shovel just this front area here and around the truck, but definitely the end's getting blown. All right, let's go. Not gonna film this, just gonna do. There we go, fun times is over. Let's go ahead and close that. Put my glove back on. It's hard to use this camera with gloves. now I can uh, get out of my driveway so much better so they're not calling for snow tonight which is very good gotta clear all this off look how much snow we got last night people <laughs> we actually got a lot oh. yeah it's gotta clear off easily this is so white and fluffy Oh yeah, that'll be cake with the snow, Joe. Come off like that. Oh man, I should have shoveled here. Oh, son of a... Oh, I'm cold. I can't feel my ears. Pretty sure I got frostbite. I'm going in. One thing I gotta say that I really appreciate from the weight loss is the not being out of breath after doing something simple like shoveling and pushing a snowblower around and the no back pains. It's really, 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 really awesome. Alrighty, I'm gonna head upstairs. Ended up what footage I have of the vlog and uh, finish drinking that apple cider vinegar water and just see what's going on. Talk to you guys in a bit. Alrighty, so I'm gonna get myself a pre-workout shake going just cause I love the way they make me feel when I'm on the Bowflex. Just totally flexing some rods, rocking some resistance with major tenacity. Alrighty, shred the red, hit the Bowflex, have a shower, go to work, put in my last shift, off for four days, 
Life doesn't get any better than this, boys. Well, it probably does if you win the lottery and then you can do cool things like tour the world and see this magnificent rock we live on. But uh, I take pride in the little things, okay? Shake's been drank, body feels pumped. Let's go shred. Alrighty, people. Well, we got the workout done. That's a thing. We um, had a shower done. That's a thing. Currently, we're sitting at 3,300 calories burnt. How many did we take in today? Well, whatever's in my protein shake because I didn't eat any food. Uh, I took a shot of aloe vera juice. I love the vitamins in that, man. Probably the best way to get vitamins into your system when you're doing one of these fast. Aloe vera juice, no calories, no nothing. Just straight up vitamins for days. Also did a shot of collagen to help with the skin, nails, hair, so on and so forth. Gotta pop my vitamins. That's quite the cocktail of pills. Wait till you guys see that. I'll probably show that this time around because uh, it's um, it's something else. It's definitely something else. Still drinking this apple cider water and, or apple cider vinegar water lemon. And uh, let me tell you, after a sweet protein shake of that chocolate powder, this definitely hits the taste buds in a weird way. Oh wow, it's like so tart now. Alrighty, I'm gonna go fire up the truck. Let it warm up, then I gotta clear all the snow off of it. I already let the dog out there, but I'm probably gonna let him out before I go one more time, just so he can do his business outside, not in the house. Apparently they also need more water, so that's a thing. What are you doing? Freaking kitty cats all footballed up in the middle of the kitchen. Guys, you're not gonna believe this. Skivens has a date tomorrow night. Yeah. That's right, people. I'm finally uh, getting back out there. Remember when I said I had something I wanted to talk about but decided not to because I didn't want to jinx it? Well, this is what I had to talk about that I didn't want to jinx. I've been chatting with this girl now for... It's been since like last Tuesday. Not like yesterday, but like a week from yesterday. I've been chatting on and off and just talking about past life experiences. And getting to know each other and stuff. See, um, Facebook recently released a dating app. My one friend there, the one that I talked about previously that I went through all the relationship woes, she uh, told me about it and said, hey, why don't you give this a try and see if you can find somebody. So I made a profile on there, figured out what the heck, what could go wrong. And then this girl contacts me, starts chatting. Started chatting back, started just wondering what I'm doing. I'm one-handed cleaning out the water dish. Oreo has this bad tendency of like, well, you know what? It could be the cat too, because she's pretty stupid, of putting the dog's food in the dish and then it incinerates and becomes this like stuff on the bottom of the bowl. Anyway, so I've been shot. Oh yeah. Been chatting with this girl for a while, uh, for, for about a week. And then we'd, uh, she gave me her number and we were chatting on text message. And pretty much um, every night this week. Oh man, you're gonna focus? There you go. Pretty much every night this week, we've been chatting back and forth and exchanging photos and such. And cause you know, you gotta be careful on, on these dating sites. Uh, you probably heard the term catfishing where somebody posts a picture of what they look like but it turns out they're not that person and i don't know why i'm putting this on right now because let's just say it's uh not exactly time to go yet i gotta let that truck warm up it's minus 20 out so but i put this thing on any anyway i was gonna go up there and sit down and then i realized no I'll just stay downstairs let that truck warm up but we've been chatting for a while and talking about past life experiences and getting to know each other finding out what we like and dislike our hobbies and all that and i already uh guys i uh gave her a link to the youtube channel talk about being stupid right i got a freaking burping dinosaur at the end of every video now who's the smart guy here right holy crap but she's still talking to me so obviously that's not a big uh big turn off <laughs> oh my god but uh yeah we got chatting and stuff and then she's like uh she said hey we should go for coffee some night and meet up the guy was fine with having just a friend to chat with online that's uh, somebody new and different. And I'm not rushing into anything. I'm not saying this is going to be some one night love affair or some 
future wife material. Hell, I'm just happy having a new friend. And if that's what this is, then that's what this is, and I'm happy with it. Like I said, I'm looking to meet new people, looking to branch out, network, and quit living life in this shell of a house that I've done for the past five freaking years. You know, I'm not the same Adam that I used to be. That fat, dilapidated ball of crap that was always so negative on the videos. I'm not that guy. Used to be that guy. Really didn't like that guy. Really don't like that guy. I tried watching my videos from last year. I hated that guy. I don't even know if it was from last year. When was that? It was 2017. Yeah, it was last year. You know, I was, I was kind of negative and then I shut the videos down because I was getting really stressed out and upset and things were bothering me and life in general. And it turns out all of that was caused by my diet. Speaking of which, I haven't taken my vitamins. I should uh, go upstairs and get those. Come down here and take them with some water. You guys ready for this cocktail of pills? My goodness, wait till you see what I take. A diggly. <laughs> I laugh watching Kid behind a camera because he gags taking a penicillin. Look at what I'm about to one hit. Okay, let me explain here. This here is turmeric for sore muscles. This here is 5-HTTP, which is eh, kind of a mood enhancer. St. John's wort, mood enhancer. That there is either potassium or magnesium, and that one there is either potassium or magnesium. I can't tell which is which, they don't mark them. That there's a second 5-HTTP. And what we got going on here is two multivitamins. All supplements, none of this is pharmaceutical. It's all stuff you can buy at Walmart right off the shelf. It's all Jameson brand, down the hatch. Now you probably understand the magnesium and potassium supplements, maybe even the multivitamins. The turmeric, what that is, is it's kind of like a pharmaceutical, not a pharmaceutical, a um, herbal muscle relaxant. I, I think it comes from like willow bark or something, I don't know. It's like um, a natural Tylenol, if you, or natural Advil, if you will. It's like, um, yeah, muscle suppressant, like a muscle relaxant. Um, the 5-HTTP, or HTP, or whatever the hell it's called, and the St. John's wort, that only started recently because of the team I'm working on. They really, really, really suck and piss me off a lot. So to avoid going overboard and uh, losing my cool on them, I figured I'll just get back on that bandwagon because it produces a lot of endorphins in your brain and lets you deal with stupid people a lot easier. You know, when I worked at Ontera, the stupid people I had to deal with were the clients. Recently, since I started working after hours, the stupid people I deal with are my teammates. And that's a problem. Anyway, I'm gonna grab the snow gel here, clear off the truck, and uh, let's get after it. I just realized I'm parking this thing in the parking garage and I got a bed full of snow. Oh well. Okay, I didn't drift at that time. So yeah, I'm a little stoked for tomorrow night. Like I said, it's been uh, five years since I've actually done a date, if you will. I haven't, like there was jewels, but we were just friends, right? Like sometimes things got a little, a little crazy between us, but we were never like official. And I never done the whole dating scene like this in forever. Like last time I did dating was with my ex. Run, run, go ahead and run it. Go ahead and run it. We'll see how well that plays out. But yeah, like I haven't done the dating scene in a long time. I just realized I don't even have my wallet on me right now. I gotta go back home, guys. Shit. Oh, man. All right, let's go home, pick up that wall. My goodness. I tell you, I tell you. I'm not like I have a lot of time right now. I don't know why I can't use my parking spot tonight. We're not supposed to get rain. You can see stars in the sky. Like, man, oh man. But he's gotta like tune out. Stop being a douche. All right, I'll try and back in when I'm actually on my way. Okay, take two. Not sure how well this is gonna go over, guys. I noticed that the uh, camera is doing that stupid buffering thing again. So that's a thing. Camera is really starting to, for a thousand dollar camera, you think it wouldn't suck. But let me tell you, it's giving me more problems than the damn Sony. It's probably just that memory card though. Like it is a fast memory card, it's a UH-1. 633 it's supposed to be but nowadays people just put stickers on things and fool the they really got to regulate SD cards but anyway yeah it's been a long time since I've dated it's, it's been a long time like my ex was 
probably the last time I dated and that was in 2006. After that I just never bothered, you know, meeting new people and going out to places and getting to know them and going through the whole I don't know, I'm also getting kind of old, right? Like, I'm gonna be 40 in March. Meeting new people and stuff. Like, online dating is a sham. My buddy, uh, he actually hooked up with, uh, he does a lot of online dating through that. Plenty of Fish and Match.com and Tinder and all that nonsense. But like, the picture they post versus who they actually are, it's amazing. Like, they'll post a picture of themselves and they look so adorable. And then you meet them and it's just like, like you ever seen that show uh, Friday when uh, I think it's Chris Tucker. I can't remember if it was Chris Tucker or Chris Rock. I get them mixed up all the time. And them damn Chris's. But uh, he kind of uh, meets up with this girl who says that she looks like Janet Jackson and, and she has like dreadlocks and all that. And she ends up pulling up to the house and looks nothing like Janet Jackson and then she takes off the dreadlocks and scratches her bald head. That's called catfishing, okay? Basically, they send you a picture or something. And like I said before, guys, every relationship, the first thing you see is physical. You'll physically see something that you like about the opposite sex or the same sex if you swing that way. Not judging, just saying. You'll see something that catches your eye and you go, hmm, that person's interesting. I would like to meet that. And then comes the next step, right? That's when you get introduced. Well, with online dating, you don't have the luxury of seeing that person in person. You have to trust the judgments of what they send you as photos. And some people, like especially on Facebook, and a lot of you are probably culprits of this, your Facebook profile picture is your car. And for the ladies, the single moms out there, your child for some reason. Even though Facebook says never post your child as your profile picture, people still do it. C'est la vie, oui, oui. Anyway, she sent me a couple pictures. Physically, I approve. Hoping I'm not gonna get catfished. <laughs> Cause that would be upsetting. I'm not the kind of guy to be like, oh hell no, and bounce out. Actually, I should take that back. I did it. I did that when my buddy set me up with that non-binary. Oh God, did I ever do that? Yup. Just wanted to stop and restart the camera there in case I lost that footage because that was some golden stuff. You know, we were chatting and stuff and seemed to have both had similar experiences and mind you, she's into different things than I am. Like she's not into like computers and that. And, you know, she watched the videos and she's still talking to me, so obviously my uh, quirky ways didn't make her go, wow, this guy's mental. I shouldn't even be talking to him. What the hell am I thinking? You know, none of that happened, so that's probably a good thing. The only thing she said she doesn't like is the vaping, and I can understand that. A lot of people consider it smoking, and well, smoking's pretty gross. At least vape doesn't stick to your clothes and make you smell like a 1980s bingo hall. If anything, you smell like a baker shop, but the smell dissipates fast. But hey, to each their own, right? I'm not about to judge. Doesn't bother me any, and like I said, I wanna gradually get off of this. Like right now, I'm vaping zero nicotine. I don't even bother. I just like the taste because it's like candy. And I don't eat candies anymore, so this is my candy. But they're making it so inconvenient to, to, to vape at work now, or to smoke at work even that I just, I kind of want to just pack it all in and not have that inconvenience. That to become no longer dependable on a device so I can just leave the house with my wallet and not be like, oh crap, I left my e-dart at home. Mind you, I've done that, left my e-dart and was like, oh, whatever, who cares? Go on without it, figure it out. Oh man, I hope this truck fits in that freaking parking garage. My buddy's Toyota does, but this thing sits a little bit higher than a Toyota Tacoma. If I get too nervous, I'm just gonna park it in my spot and guy I rented from bitches and moans I'll be like well here's an extra 10 bucks for your problems bud take it easy but anyway I'm almost at work if I uh, wreck my my truck putting it in there I'll uh, be sure to film it all right check you later you know what there's no way in hell I can park there so I'm parking in my spot if he gets mad he gets mad I don't care 
It's not supposed to snow tonight. If it does, I'll figure something out. So can't wait to get off this dumb after hour bullshit. Anyway, talk to you guys after work. I put the garbage out before I came in the house there. <coughs> Oreo's dropping ass again. He'll be back in in a second. It's too freaking cold out there for him. Too freaking cold out there for me. Holy frig is it ever cold out. It's ridiculous. Just waiting on stupid. Oh, why is he ever powering that one? Oh, I'm so glad the night shifts are done. Like, it's stupid. It's just, I used to love them. I used to look forward to night. Go in, hurry up through the emails, watch some Twitch, hang out. But it's like, it all depends on the team you get with, right? Some people are good to work with, other people just suck. And these guys just suck. They just drain you. Normally when they fire up the chat room, I just minimize it. Just close it. And it's like, don't even bother looking at it because the one guy just bitches about every dumb request we get. Cause we get some doozies. Like some people will send an email in just saying it's broke. Could be a printer, could be a computer, could be a monitor. For all we know, could be their coffee mug. It's just the way she goes, eh? It's just the way she goes. Some people are good to work with and others aren't. Some people got work ethics and others are just there to collect a paycheck. The way she goes, not much you can do about it. Just pitter patter, have at her, get the shift over with. Hurry up, bring on New Year's so I can get off these damn after hour shifts. Because let me tell you, I'm blue, double dee, double die, double dee, double die. Oh my goodness, that's so much better. But all I gotta say is, um, New Year's can't come fast enough. Anyway, people, I'm gonna shut her down here. Get this video all edited up and ready to go. Because uh, I'm pretty tired, I wanna go crash out. Then I gotta get up, get stuff did, get ready. Cause it's date night. So on that note, people, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, click that like button. Any questions, comments, concerns, down below they go. And until next time, people, keep on vlogging.